guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jojo for those who are new and I upload videos every Friday on DIY project centered on home decor upcycling and thrifting so if any of these topics interest you kindly consider hitting the subscribe button below so today's episode will be a thrift haul I did take you guys with me as I went thrifting to Gikomba and uh, so today I'll be showing you the items that I did get. I did quite, get quite a number, so I'm going to group them into first I'll start with the craft supplies and then the next one will be home decor knickknacks. So let's get into it. The first item that I did get were these terraform balls. I did get two packs. One is more of an egg-shaped terraform ball and this is circular and I'll do the deco items that I did in my previous video so if you've not watched that video I'll link it in the cards above and also in the description box below so make sure you check it out you can do very very good things with these terraform balls so the next thing will be stapler oh sorry I did, I did forget to mention the price this was a hundred pop for these four balls and this was 50 shillings so in total, this was 150 for the styrofoam balls. So the next item was uh, this stapler. Okay, there's nothing much to it. And this was 150 shillings. I did get a lot of yarn. There's a DIY project that I want to do with these yarns. So yeah, keep it here to know when I do that DIY project. So I did get quite a number, I got four. This was a uh, hundred bob, and then also these were a hundred bob. So these were two, a hundred, and a hundred. The next item I did get was this acrylic paint. There's some painting that I want to do, so I got this, and this was uh, 150 shillings. I also got this big bottle of yellow acrylic paint. This was also, this was 200 bob, yeah, because it's a lot, 200 bob. And then I did get a tiny one. This was 59 ml and this was 50 shillings. It's still new. It has the seal written made in USA. And guys, let me tell you how cheap Gikomba is. So this, this is 59 ml. I got from Gikomba for 50 bob. And then I got this acrylic paint from textbook center it is 59 ml and this particular jar no it's a bottle this bottle was 270 shillings so guys can you compare 50 bob 270 shillings so since I, I, i'm collecting a lot of acrylic paint that's why i go to Gikomba to source for these items because they are cheaper and we get new stuff so the next item I did get was this glue. So if you're a crafter, you know how rare is it to find this glue in Kenya. But you can find it at Myra's Craft, but it's a little bit expensive. And I did get this for 50 shillings. I have used it, so that's why you see that the bottle is bent a little. Yeah, but it works. It works as the one that I got from Myra's Craft. And this was only 50 bob. The next item I did get was this big jar. This bottle, it's a bottle. I don't know why I keep referring to things as jars. So I got this glitter bottle. And this was 100 shillings. And you can see how big it is. Let me put things into perspective. There's another bottle that I bought from River Road. Let me look for it. I got this tiny bottle. I don't know if you can see it well tiny bottle from river road for 50 bob and this this big bottle this was 100 bob from Gikomba. yes so i have used the glue uh, sorry the glitters that were in here i used this to make my phone cover yeah so i love glitters and i needed to do something to change my clear phone cover so this is what i did and i used this small bottle to do the upper pattern yeah so you can see how cheap things are when you're getting them from Gikomba I got this 
it's called a wind twister and this will be still open it's not opened yet so we can open it together so this is how it looks and my plan is to spray paint it and then i'll put a chopstick on top and then i'll use this as the base so it will be like this but any anyway, don't worry when i do the project i'll show you guys and see how i transform these items so this was uh, 50 shillings and this was also 50 shillings these golf balls and it was going for 50 shillings and my plan is to do a project with it i'm going to stack the balls on top of each other and then on top i'm going to place these candle holders on top and then to paint the balls gold so that they will be textured i'm not quite sure how this project will turn out because i've not seen it anywhere so it's something that i had in mind and i was like ah let me try it and see how it, it comes out so keep it here we'll do the project together and see how it turns out that's all for the craft supplies so the next thing we're going to go through are my deco items so to start us off with this interesting circular it was a toy and the good thing is it expands and also you can collapse it so my idea is to spray paint it gold and i'll place it on top of my coffee table books and also i did a diy on the coffee table books so if you've not watched the video i'll link it in the cards above and also in the link in the description box below so make sure you check that one out this clear acrylic photo frame and uh, i'm thinking i'll put an interesting quote something colorful and uh yeah there's a there's a part where you slide in your photo yeah so this was 50 shillings only i got this interesting stuff i'm not quite sure what exactly it's supposed to be used for but i loved the shape of it and i'm thinking i'll prefer it the middle part will be black or gold and then the out i'm not quite sure which color will go but it will be black and gold and then i'm thinking it will be a decorative piece i'm not quite sure let me know down in the comment section below what you use this one for okay i'm not quite sure so let me know guys your thoughts and i got this wooden pineapple so i'm thinking this okay i'll have to sand it down and spray paint it gold by now i'm sure you know my color is gold i love gold so this will be what will i use this one for maybe i'll place it uh, on top of my coffee table books or on top of my drawer and i'll place my maybe earrings for the day okay i'm thinking but this will be a decorative piece i did get this cute oh sorry i didn't say this was 50 shillings and then i did get this cute white animal and uh, i'm thinking i'll place toothpicks here yeah and it will be on display i thought it was an interesting item this was only 50 shillings this acrylic packs so i'm thinking this will be good to hold something maybe on top of your workstation yeah and also the packaging is quite nice so you can place it on top of your office desk or maybe on top of any anything yeah because it is uh the presentation is nice i love the acrylic touch to it and i got this this was supposed to be like an organizer but i thought i'd place my glue sticks here but it turns out that my glue sticks were longer than this so maybe i'll place my pens because i get a, i have a lot of pens so maybe i'll use this to organize my pens this wooden legs uh, let me open them you get to see how they look so most of the things that you get from that place i did show you by the way if you've not watched the video that I took a few guys along with me as I went to Gikomba. I'll link it in the cards above and also 
in the description box below make sure you check it out so you saw me going through that place and most of the items are usually packed in this clear paper bags so this is how the lab look like so i'm thinking i'll use this for a diy project for a drawer or a dresser i have a couple of dressers okay not a couple just two that i got from the auction and i'm thinking i'll lift them up at least so that they get a little bit of height yes and i use these legs i love them they have that mid-century kind of look yeah and uh, i got this for for only 200 bob such a bargain it was uh, this tray i believe you've seen it from my previous video and uh, i love the detail the detail at the edge and also the depth of the tray so what i am planning to do with this tray is to get a mirror that is the same size as the bottom part of the tray and also i'll spray paint this the outer edges i'll spray paint it gold so i don't mind really the it's white white or gray i think they had the owner had painted it gray or white i'm not quite sure yeah so i don't think i have an issue with it because either way i'm going to spray paint it and it's going to house maybe like my oils maybe my perfumes yeah i think it will be an interesting one but either way we're going to do it together so you'll find out how this one will turn out this was a hundred shillings only from that guy who was selling a lot of sufurias so another item i did get was this comb i loved the the pattern the design that this this comb has and what i did like about it is this upper part is detachable so what i plan to do with it is get a mirror the say the size and the shape of this upper top and then i'll spray paint i'll spray paint it gold of course because the paint is wearing off and yes i'll place it on top of my coffee table books so yeah so i believe this was mini it was a hundred pop the next item was uh, this diamond shaped teaspoons i love them because let me show you because of this diamond shape on top yeah and they were long enough so i'm thinking i'll use this for my bucket and when you're making cocktails and you need to start the, co the content in your jar so this would be perfect and also it will be perfect to display to display them on my back hat so we still do the back hat together but i'm still collecting items to put on my back hat so that's why that video is not ready yet yes so i got these two spoons they were brand new straight from the pack and these were 100 bob for both got these plastic cups okay they are called spiked plastic cups and uh, they are supposed to prevent your your furniture legs from spoiling your carpet so if you need if you need your carpet to be protected and not to have that dent if you've noticed if you place the the legs of your maybe of your coat of your seats on top of the carpet after a while you realize that the carpet has a dent so if you don't want that dent these are the things that you're supposed to use they're still in the pack maybe i can open and show you how how they are inside so this is how it looks and uh, the top part has it is it's hollow so this is where I think you the legs of your furniture this is where they go and then you place them on top of your carpet like this I'm not sure if these things work so I'll let you know I'll give you a review later I did get this black bowl and I love the texture and uh, yeah I think it's supposed to be a guacamole bowl so you put your dip after you prepared it mm, I loved it and it was only a hundred bucks for this uh, this 
elephant salt shaker it has some holes it has some holes here so i thought it would be pretty to present your salt in and this was only 50 shillings um this silver item i'm not quite sure exactly what it's supposed to be used for but uh, when i got it i thought maybe i'll place it on the wall so I, I will glue it on the wall like this and then i'll place the plug my my electric uh, jar plug i'll place it here so instead of after you remove the plug from the socket instead of now throwing it anywhere on top of your kitchen counter i thought this would be a cool way to organize your plug yeah so maybe this the cord will go from here and then the plug will trust on top i've not tried it yet so i'm not sure if it will work yeah but i think it's a cool idea this clear holder it's supposed to be a candle holder but what i'm going to use it for i'm going to look for a plate or a charger plate or something that is uh, circular maybe a tray or so and then i'll place it on top here and then i'll place it something on top. i'll place maybe something decorated on top yeah but this was a hundred bucks these are the items that i got from the guy who was selling superiors and uh, the, this candle holder it's gold a faded gold but what i love most about this is the pattern that the candle has i love it and this would go perfectly with those uh, short and fat a candle's fat you know you get the gist so those short fat candles and then maybe if you have a decorative candle this will go perfectly on top and this this was uh this was 250 bob and it's quite heavy yeah so but i love i love the details this long candle holder this was the most expensive thing by the way that i bought from my haul and this was 300 shillings yes it's quite heavy and uh, it has a shiny gold so i'm thinking maybe that's it Okay. Yeah, but I love it. I love, I love this. I got also more candle holders. I'm not quite sure exactly. So this is another one I've forgotten. I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going to place all this because I have a lot of candle holders. But I did get this, these two. These two are from the same guy selling the spheres. And this was a hundred bob, a hundred shillings. So I'm thinking I'll place one on top of a coffee table book. So to add height, so one will be like this, and then the other one will be on top of the table. And then I'll place some candles, maybe white. White will go well. Yeah, white candles on top. So it will be like this. And then the other thing I did get was this small candle holder. So I thought they would look very well. In groups of three because when you're decorating rule of thumb is you're supposed to decorate in odd numbers so you're supposed to do like group items in groups of three or five just use an odd number so i did think i i did get this this was from a different guy the guys that uh, the other place that i did go to you saw that on my video so yeah so i did get this this was okay it was pricey it was a hundred bob but i expected it to be like 50 shillings but since i wanted it because i got this other two i thought it will be it look good if i do group them like this yeah so yes i've said a hundred a hundred a hundred oh there are a hundred bob for the three of them this knife Okay, to be quite frank, I have no idea what the hair is supposed to cut. But I loved it because it was white and gold. Just white, cream. Cream and gold. And also the design. So, not quite sure exactly what it's supposed to cut. So, if you have an idea what this is used for, kindly leave me in the comment section. And also, I did get this knife. Oh, no, sorry. This spoon. I loved it because of the 
wooden uh, touch it has on top and also it is Segregated, yeah, segregated at the bottom, and also this is supposed to be used when you're peeling a boiled egg. So this part is supposed to crack your your eggs. I'm yet to try it, but uh, yeah. So this was thirty bob. Oh, they were both thirty bob. The two of them. So I did get this. It's a tray. I think it's a small tray. Yeah. But what I plan to do with this is uh, I'll take a silver. I'm looking for a silver candle holder, and it will be at the bottom. So I'm going to glue them, and uh, it will remain silver. And what I plan to do with this is uh, place it right next to the kitchen sink, and it will house maybe a small potted, potted sorry, a small potted plant, and also dish dishwasher liquid, dishwashing liquid. Okay, that's so you use when you're cleaning your dishes. Put it here and also lotion because I get my hands get dry when after doing the dishes. So I'll place it here and maybe a small candle, scented candle will be here. So this is the plan for this. Uh, I think it's a tray. And what I plan to do with this is uh, wash it and need to polish it so that at least the silver shines more and uh, place a mirror at the bottom yeah okay i'm not quite sure exactly where i'm supposed to place it but i think i'll give uh, okay after doing the diy i think i'll just have to do a giveaway of some of the items because clearly i have a lot of things that i don't need and i don't need clutter so yeah i think some of the items i'll do a giveaway yes good and uh, spaghetti thingy so this is supposed to it's supposed to measure your spaghetti using this item. So if you don't like to break your spaghetti and you like to keep them whole, this will help you when you're measuring. So this tiny hole is supposed to be for one serving. So this is for two, two people, three people, I think four or more. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, but I know at least it helps you if you want to know how much spaghetti you're supposed to make. And this was only a hundred bucks. So the knobs look like like this. So they are in a pack. They were one, two, three, four. There were six in a pack, and these were two hundred shillings. Okay, it kind of look. And uh, yeah, I leave it for one of my dressers. Not quite sure exactly which dresser it is, but you'll see them in uh, upcoming projects. This bag of cup coin pots. So I bought this bag of coin pots. Yeah, and uh, this whole bag was uh, 200 shillings. What I plan to do with this is I'm going to place these cocks in a glass vase, glass vase, glass vase, whichever. Yes, and I placed it on top of my backpack. Some bangles but I'm not going to wear these bangles so what I plan to do with these bangles is um, they're going to be a base for my decorative plates so for instance there's this place that I did get from Gikomba but this was a while back what I plan to do with these bangles is place the plate on top so this is how it's going to look this option and then there's uh, option two, it's like this. We have option three, like, I'm not quite sure you can see, like this. And then the first option is silver, but it is a hammered uh, silver. And then like this. And the plate is also, it has that kind of uh, hammered look. So these are the four bangles that I did get. So let me know down in the comment section below which of the four bangles you pair this plate with. Glass container. I loved the texture of the glass and uh, just the shape in general. Yeah, there were two of them but I chose to get one because I didn't know 
exactly what I'm supposed to put inside. And also the guy who was selling had no idea. So I thought I'd even have it as a decorative piece, just the way it is. Yeah, so that's my plan so far until I get something better to do with this. The, this frame, this photo frame here. And uh, I loved number one, the texture, this pattern. I loved it and also the gold color. So I'll look for a photo. Yes, but there are some areas that I need to patch, to patch up. The guy selling was so helpful and he did give me ideas on how I, I would patch these parts, like here. And this was, this was 200 bob, yeah, it was 200 shillings. My best patches has to be this elephant decorative item. So if you've gone to House of Leather, you've seen that they have similar items, but different colors. But they're selling them for, I think, 800 or 900 if I'm not mistaken. But I got this elephant for 200 shillings. Come to the end of my Gikomba haul. So if you've not watched the Gikomba video that I did take you guys with me, I'll link it in the cards above and also in the description box below. Make sure you check them out. So at least when I say this is where I bought this item, you have an idea of where exactly that place is. So if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you're new, kindly hit the subscribe button below. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So the next video I'm going to be doing, it will be on Monday, and it will be a Christmas video. So I'm going to do a, like a Kamini Vlogmas. So I'll, do five, I'll be uploading five days in a week. For two weeks so from next week until the other week so that's the week before christmas yeah so be prepared to see a lot of me for the next two weeks so until next time that's on monday i'll see you then bye